Thai friends first serve this jar K for 360 reader. It's time to learn how to create and use Safari profiles in iOS 17 on iPhone and iPad. Safari has received a number of notable features in iOS 17, and one of the most impressive features is the ability to create a profile. So depending on your needs, you can create multiple Safari profiles for a more personalized experience. It allows you to keep entire browsing history and favorites separate. That said, let's get started. First off, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose Safari. Then tap on New Profile. After that, give a suitable name to your profile. Choose a symbol and a preferred color for your profile. Besides, you can also fine-tune the settings for your Safari profile. Once you have perfectly customized your Safari profile, make sure to tap on Done at the top right corner of the screen to finish, and that's pretty much it. As there is no restriction at all, you can create as many profiles as you need. Next up is time to learn how to switch between different Safari profiles. To do so, open Safari and then tap on the tabs icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. After that, tap on the menu button at the bottom center. Then tap on profile and then choose the Safari profile you want to switch to. Next, tap on done and you are good to go. Next up is time to learn how to manage extensions for a specific Safari profile. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose Safari. Then select the profile in question. After that, tap on manage extensions and then choose the extensions you wish to use with the profile. And finally, it's time to learn how to delete a specific Safari profile. If you no longer want to keep any Safari profile, you can choose to delete it with ease. To get it done, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Now scroll down and choose Safari. Then choose the profile you want to get rid of. After that, tap on delete profile and then confirm the action. And that's all there is to it. So that's how you can create and use Safari profiles on your iPhone or iPad. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.